There are various elements that go into editing a Fortnite montage, and you might be missing that one little extra ingredient that will take your montage from a 5 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually make your own build-ups inside of Adobe After Effects. If you guys don't know, a build-up is pretty much like before a kill. So I'm going to be going over how you can do that from scratch. I'm going to have some free presets in the description for you guys to actually check out for yourself. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys do enjoy the video. With all that out of the way, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So obviously, the first thing is, is we're going to launch Adobe After Effects. This is where we're actually going to be editing our montage inside of and i'm pretty much going to be going over sample buildups that i do use in my own montages so if you are interested you have seen some of my own edits trust me i'm pretty much going to be showing exactly what i actually use in my own videos all right so this is going to be the first like two clips of my come and get your love montage i'm just going to show you example how you can actually put this on top of your clip. So right here, we can see, I'm just gonna get rid of these right here. We can see we have a clip with time remapping. I'm actually gonna get rid of my ident too. So we have the clip right here and we can see that, and we can see that it just literally is a normal clip. All right, so just like that. Um, so we can see these are just the two clips right here, just on the left side right here. Time remapping, it is a bit blurry, but we got our impact right there. I'm actually gonna change it to quarter res. This, boom, up. we got our impact. So once you have your impact, that could be a great thing. You're probably on the final stages of your montage, but I'm gonna be showing you how, how you could actually add that intermediate step between the two, between just syncing your kills and adding impacts, that midpoint of adding a buildup, which will just go above and beyond make your montage look insane so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my kill right here and press Control alt y and i'm going to adjust it to actually be the length of the clip right here at the very end and then i'm also going to extend it to the very beginning kind of like where we almost have our time remapping starting so just about here should be good and i'm going to be showing you guys the different effects that i actually apply to my build up right here so for example what i will do is i will first go over to my effects and presets and what i will do is i will look up blur mode curves so for example just like this i'll drag my blur mode curves on top of this i'll keyframe my z distance at one at the very beginning come here to the kill and make it like 0.7 they'll come to the very end and change this to one this is going to be a screen pump so once we actually if we want to view our keyframes which you're going to want to do press u on your keyboard select all the keyframes right here press f9 on your keyboard and then go into the graph like this then you're literally just going to copy what i'm showing you right here so just like that Nice little impact kind of screen pump right here. We can see it zooms in that nice little zoom and the next couple of effects There's kind of a bunch of different ones you can use so for me I have universe VHS that I use so you just drag that on all you really have to do is go to blend with original change it to 100 at the beginning go to the kill change it to zero and then go one frame after kill change it to 100 so literally we'll go little VHS right here build up and then a different effect that you could also use for this is vignette I'm gonna show you how to set up this so s underscore vignette drag that onto your build up these are just various different effects that I'm covering that I use uh, so I'll make my radius a lot smaller and then on my kill I will actually keyframe the opacity sorry I'm blind right now I'll keyframe the opacity on the kill at one go to the beginning keyframe at a zero same thing one frame after keyframe at zero it's like this That is pretty much how you actually add that. And then lastly, I'm gonna be just literally, this one is so easy, brightness, which will literally just darken it. So for example, I'll just drag on brightness and contrast. On the kill, I'll keyframe it at like negative 60-ish. And then at the beginning, I'll just keyframe it at zero, one frame after. This is like a super slight buildup. This is like if you don't want it to be super dramatic a little gradual that's pretty much how you do it and then i'm gonna have this in the description but if you go to apply animation preset i'm gonna have my free shake actually in the description for you guys for 100 free so you just go to your build ups and then joshi pre-shake and you literally just press u line up these keyframes right here with the kill and this is just a little pre-shake we can see it's a little bit of a twitch that is actually what I use for my own montages. So, so once you actually apply everything together, you add your uni VHS, you have your shake, you go to the beginning and you change this to 100 keyframe, kill, zero, 
one frame after 100 it is quite simple this is what it looks like super clean build up and that's actually what i use for my own videos so if you guys did learn something uh make sure to like comment subscribe all the presets that i used in this video all the different effects will be in the description for you guys to check out for 100 free in a google drive so make sure to go do that if you guys have any questions whatsoever make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i'll be actively answering all your guys's questions and with all that said i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out